What's up everybody? Jack here and today I'm going to talk to you about depression because it's something that all of us go through. I've been through it myself multiple times in my life and I'm going to explain to you exactly what you need to do to overcome it. There's one key difference between a person who struggles with depression sporadically on and off for their entire life and somebody who goes through a phase of depression that causes a change in them and they become a resourceful, positive, happy individual. The ironic thing is that there's nothing that determines which one you become. You don't have some kind of genetic predisposition that makes you depressed. You just think that you do. The reality is no matter why you're depressed, it's fixable. And I know that may be hard to hear, especially if you go down the traditional routes of treating depression. People are gonna lead you to believe there's something wrong with you, something that makes you different. You need some drug to fix your problems, to make you feel normal, to stabilize yourself, to be less emotional. And don't get me wrong, drugs make you feel different. They affect your emotions. You're gonna notice a change when you're on drugs or off of drugs. But if you rely on drugs, you will never escape your depression. There is one thing that I want you to understand, and I wish that somebody had told me this when I was 10 or 11, over and over again. I wish that they had hammered this into my brain as I had developed, because it would have saved me so much trouble. Your mentality is everything. If you let yourself believe that you are depressed because of who you are, you are creating a life where you always struggle with depression. You cannot identify with depression. You cannot let depression be a part of who you are. You cannot let it define you. But obviously, that's way easier said than done. And I want to help you. I don't want to just tell you what's ideal. I understand that if you're depressed, you don't have this mentality. And you probably don't even believe me. You probably don't even believe that, like, oh, you can actually get out of it and that it's not something you're going to struggle with your whole life and there's not something wrong with you. I get that you don't, you doubt that. You don't think that that's true, okay? But understand, this moment right now, right now, exactly what you're feeling, that is the moment you have to understand inside and out. Because if you're depressed, it means that something is missing from your life. Now the trick here is that most of us come into the world and it's not like we come into the world and are given everything we need to be happy. We're just in the world. We have to figure out what it is we need to be happy. But how do you do that if you've never actually experienced what you want out of this world? How do you know what you need if you've never had it? That's a really tricky question. And honestly, I can't give you a straight answer that any of you watching can follow because the answer to this question is different for every single one of you. You all have a different recipe that will lead you out of depression and into happiness. And I'm gonna do my best in the rest of this video to give you experience based on what I've observed in my personal life and what has allowed me to go from a person who was depressed, felt life was worthless, hopeless, without any skills, to the person I am now, who is constantly learning new things, has paid for all of their bills through work in the past, can spend every single hour of every day doing whatever it is that I think is best for my life. That mentality we talked about earlier is the reason I've been able to change my life. It's because I was able to start believing that there wasn't something wrong with me. Something was missing from my life. So, what was missing? For me, it was to be surrounded by a group of people who I respect and want to be like, and these people also respect and want to be like me, and a good distribution 
of different genders in these people. It is unhealthy to constantly be around females. And it is unhealthy to constantly be around males. You need to be able to connect with both males and females and whatever other people are out there in a way where you identify with them. You respect something about them. This is critical to a human being happy because depression isn't a disease. It's not something that is wrong with you. And if you let yourself believe that, you will never overcome it. You will always need some drug that gets you out of it. And you will always experience fluctuations where you're, you're okay for a bit, but ultimately you drop back into extreme feelings of depression. No matter what you do to cover this void up, whether you're working all the time, or you're taking some kind of antidepressant drug, or you're trying the latest therapy, you're always going to rebound because you're not depressed because something is wrong with you. You are depressed because something is missing from your life. You have to understand this, and you have to create a life that is all about identifying what you need in this world. And for me, my father died when I was 12. This caused a lot of complications in my childhood. I was incredibly alone. I was a foreigner in a country. I didn't really know anybody. And everyone was so different. They had parents and I just watched my dad die for 14 months. And then, you know, what, what really sucked about this is everyone was like, well, you're fucked. You're going to be depressed. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about that. Right? And I fell for that. I fell for that mentality. For a long time, I let myself believe that. You know, something was permanently wrong for me because I lost my dad as a child. No matter what your reason is, you're wrong. If you're depressed... Something is missing. I was depressed because I lost my family and I didn't have any friends. I felt incredibly alone. I needed a group. And not just a group of people, not just any random people. People who I believed in, who I wanted to see every day, and who I felt were excited to see me. People who loved me and cared for me, and I also loved and cared for them. And to be honest with you, it took like 15 years to really find that. And I had to leave the United States in my circumstance. That, that's what it took. It took me leaving the country that I had grown used to, throwing myself into a new country, being completely alone, feeling really alone, but not being alone. You know, the irony is no matter how lonely you feel, there's billions of people on this planet. You're never actually alone. It's all about changing the way that you think. And in my case, I lost my family. I lost my feeling of belonging to a group of other humans. And I thought, because I was an introverted person, because I didn't get energy from hanging out with the, the people I knew, I thought, oh, it's not that I don't know the right people, it's that something's wrong with me. I went through this and I'm just gonna be depressed. But I was wrong. I was missing the feeling of family. And I know this because all the points where I have this feeling of family in my life, I'm an incredibly happy, joyful person because of the trauma that I've been through, despite the trauma that I've been through. These things have defined me. They have shaped me into a person who is able to be relentlessly positive. Right? But the reality is, it's not that I'm special in any way, and it's not even the traumas. It's because I told myself that that's what was happening. I knew there was nothing that I could do about the fact that my father had died, but I knew that I could change the way I spoke to myself about it. So I stopped telling myself that it was something that screwed me up. I stopped letting other people tell me that I was going to struggle 
I stopped listening to doctors when as soon as I mentioned that my father was dead, they immediately started to put me on antidepressants without trying to get to know me at all, without answering any questions. Drugs, 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 drugs. I started telling myself that death made me stronger that this experience made me able to appreciate life. I started converting this experience into a strength and a power. And of course, yeah, losing my father was hard. I don't even think about it that way anymore. If I think about my father's death, immediately these are the thoughts that come to mind. Life is short, you gotta live it as best you can. Do not let the people you love be hurt unnecessarily. If you say something mean to somebody you love and care about, it better be worth it. Because if they go off and die, that's going to be the last thing that you ever said to them. And if that thought makes you regret how you treat people, you should take a serious look at the way that you treat the people you care about in your life. Because death happens. Horrible, horrible things happen to people. And you can't do anything about that. You can't prevent death from happening to people, or from you. But, you can prevent letting yourself believe that it's gonna screw you up. You can change the way you handle it so that it creates power and strength within you. But I need to take a step back here because I'm, I'm talking about some really intense stuff and the reality is most of the people that I know who struggle with depression, they haven't been through some really intense trauma. And that's why they're always like, no, Jack, you know, you went through that, but there's, there's not something wrong with you. You had a reason to be depressed. I'm depressed because something's wrong with me. I didn't go through some trauma. I didn't lose my dad. I didn't struggle with disease. But that's where you're wrong. Because if you're depressed, there's something missing from your life. And if you think that you've had an easy life and that you've never been through some trauma to, for you to deserve the depression, for you to explain the depression, that's not true. All that means is you don't know what you actually need in this life. You've never experienced what it's like to have all of your needs met, to be part of a group of people that you love, to feel confident in yourself. You are a talented person who is growing and developing and able to change the world and be good to the people around you. If you feel depressed and you haven't been through something that explains the depression, it's because you've been through something even worse. You've come into this world with everything that you're told you need. You have a mother and father, maybe. You have food. You have a house. You've got some friends. You've got everything. There's nothing to complain about. But let me tell you something, quality in parenting, quality in friendships, quality in home environment varies exponentially between every single family that exists that's alive. Just because somebody's alive doesn't mean they're being great to you. It doesn't mean that they're raising you in a way where you can be empowered to make the best life that you can have and understand that if you're sad or depressed, it's because something's missing not because something's wrong. So as I end this video, I wanna ask you, what's missing from your life? Because the answer to that question is the answer to any struggle with depression that you might have. And sometimes the answer to that question is another question. I don't know. And in this case, you gotta find out you gotta start changing your environment, changing the people you're around, changing where you live, visiting new places, doing anything that you can to get change into your life. And every time the environment change, every time you meet a new person, you're gonna learn. You're gonna start to see what is necessary for you to be at your best. Because you'll start developing an opinion. What environments did you like more? What environments did you like less? Oh. oh, maybe the environments you liked more had something closer to what you need to be happy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like more of this content, let me know. 
I'm trying to slow down my YouTube role and make very specific and formative videos for you guys. I'm trying to really channel my energy, take the different approach. Because before I was all about creating as much content as physically possible. Just getting into that habit relentlessly. But now, I'm trying to hold myself back, let that energy build so I can create really good and interesting content that's easier to engage with and more useful for you. If you want to support my channel, subscribe and check out my Udemy courses. I have three main courses, okay? I have a course teaching people how you can record content and create live streams. I have a course teaching you how to run a YouTube channel just like mine and to earn money from this YouTube channel. I explain everything that I know about YouTube and how YouTube has changed my life and enabled me to have a life where I can do anything that I put my mind to. Every hour of the day is spent doing something that I choose to do. In addition to this, I also have a course all about dropshipping. If that's something that you're interested in, I no longer dropship myself because dropshipping is quite unstable and is risky. But I'm only able to stop dropshipping because I've established multiple other income streams. And the reality is, if it wasn't for dropshipping, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be able to be here making this video. So I understand that while I don't dropship anymore, it's still an opportunity for any of you guys who are struggling and you're trying to become self-employed, but you haven't bridged that gap. You haven't really become a self-employed person and been able to leave your job. Dropshipping is something that can get you there. It's not going to keep you there, but it can get you through the door. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, if you want any of these courses, check out the link in the description. And if you want more of this kind of content, comment below. If you struggle with something and you think that I might be able to help, just tell me. I'll make a video just for you, okay? Thanks for watching. See you next time.